Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. This is my forehead in a plain gray shirt. And this is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. A late commentary playthrough where we're currently on Gilgamesh Island. <sighs> we're doing the duo summon fights, which awkwardly enough, the Odin Alexander fight looks like the easiest one. I just need to burst Alexander harder if that's the only gimmick and then just fight Odin again. But I'm all set up. I did some adjustments to my materia and things, so let's get back into it. Let's, uh, skip. Take me. What's he doing? That's not what I meant to do. Let's do this. Ah, damn it. No, oh, I was in my damn menu. It's toxic. Oh, good. Yeah, it's fair. Frustrating angle. Me spun around there that time. Here we go. Damn it, man. Come on. I literally was dodging, but sure. Getting interrupted at the same time by uh, Alexander is a bit of annoying. I think I'm dead here. I got hit too many times. Get knocked over by what's his face? Dude, come on! What the hell is happening right now? Dude, I cannot dodge. Ah! Oh, she got hit. gonna hit him yeah this is a restart i don't know why the previous time i went into this i had no problem i just kept fighting him and the dodges work just fine this time it's just like everything hits you Hang in there. 
What? Wow. Okay. getting bloodborne to dark souls real hard right now your first pull is your best for some reason tifa had a ton of health lifesaver was up bear had a ton of health one shot it's on you Lose my character, so what am I gonna do? Oh, yeah, yeah. start <laughs> I don't know what it is now every time I try I just can't I can't fight him every single time now Alexander keeps interrupting me that didn't happen the first time don't overdo it Can't move. Can't, can't move. Why was he not doing that the first time? Every time I go for an ability, I get interrupted. So far away, man. Let's finish this. I love being able to control my character in the video game. Oh, I didn't even get a stun on him. That's a restart. Every little bit. 
the dodging. Extends. He's gonna leave after this, so it's good damage, though, at least. like there was a hitbox in the melee. In his hitbox? Some big stuck in the hitbox energy right there. So far down. Control your character in the video game. I don't think it's gonna happen. He's not gonna cast. He got interrupted because, you know, duh. Keep us at two full health. Cloud needs one. It's not gonna go off, I don't think. We have time. Is it gonna stagger him, maybe? I think so. It, it, it did. They did not. Dumping remedies into this. Bear it. Probably should have just focused strike actually, then I noticed it. I don't think he's gonna stay pressured after this though. Yeah, that's 
fine. It's not fine, but it's livable. Oh, you have to get this done. He comes back regardless. Time wasting time. Interrupted the video game, the game where all you do is get interrupted. Just this asshole. Stay strong. You want me? Come on. I remember Self Near's Fury actually doing that knockback in the uh original version okay phase three Need damage. If he gets in close enough. Yeah. 
Um, is just to keep pressure on him. There we go. It's fine. Like 90 times. Am I in the air? Nope. Fell down. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> there we go. They're all done. That's all of them. I think. Yes, ma'am. Truly fought, my brave warriors. My restored accoutrement, nigh on tremble with joy. Thus do I declare the tempering concluded. Okay. For your efforts, I grant you a boon. Entry to my private gardens. Okay. <laughs> I await your coming with quivering anticipation. Boxes? Nothing. Um. I'm just gonna go back to the original squad. I saw Baird casting a lot of thunder, but uh, probably want well, it's going to be a different version of him, I imagine. The other way. I don't know what kind of combat this is going to be, right? So. Okie dokie. Yeah. Those were mostly fair. It's just. It almost gives me a headache trying to, like, do things in this game and you just get interrupted so much. As good as it is, I don't know why they decided to... Just so many things interrupt your character. I had some really good dodges in there though, I guess, so it works out in the end, I suppose. Some good, some bad. A lot more island, but I guess there's nothing around it. Be not afraid. Come in. Come in. Tis long past time we ended this. I mean, it's a nice place. Walk into boss arena, giant square blob. On the roof? Is that like a turret? Like a... Like a warship turret on his roof?
I don't know why everything is my sized, considering Gilgamesh is huge. Or is he? Is it all a ruse? I assume he's upstairs. Boxes? They're kind of rude. Because they're garbage items, too. <laughs> <It's> like, <you. laughs> oh, he's right there. So wait, do I want to explore upstairs first, or is there is there not enough stairs? No, nope, I guess not. Okie dokie. Now, is getting to Gilgamesh harder than Gilgamesh, or vice versa? My sleep broken only by clamorous silence. Floating like a butterfly, as transient as the winds. My soul pale and wan, bereft of Genji's splendor, I begin to fade. Until my very essence melts away like morning mist. But hope springs anew. For the Genji is made whole, perfect and sublime. So for Gilgamesh, it's more than time! <laughs> yep. I came and why I have been bounding twixt dimension. <laughs> but I dare not tarry here. My nemesis and I have a score to settle. Fare thee well. What? Hey, what the hell are we? Jump liver? <laughs> Come to think of it, we have our own score to settle, don't we? Though these worlds be infinite. There is room in them for but one bladesman. And to prove it, I shall divest you of your weapon. Here and now, I will have that buster sword. No. Then I shall prize it from your cold, dead hand. You do be having a lot of HP. Oh, he's weak. What? He's actually weak to the D, like D brave, D faith, and stuff. He's weak to poison. Good, all the things that I don't have in my bars right now because nothing is ever weak against it! Because you can use it against Odin, but he still has lesser resistance to it. It just pressures his phase bar. A weak to fire, though. It's on Just 
doing stuff, but I don't know what it is yet. A little more straightforward. I don't know how to get knock a hit by that. It just hits me with it. He just looks at me and hits me. Okay, so breach is really good against him. TV. I don't, I don't know how to, I guess you just block that. fully interrupted me because everything has to in this game That just hits me. It's a little weird. Also, it's feels like the character you're controlling is the only real one that really gets ATB on this. He moves so much. They're just not attacking him. Did they not actually cast? They get interrupted. Oh. Could it be the sword of which legend tells? Excalibur! What is this cutscene? Ah! By this holy blade, shall your lives be ended. This is not my Excalibur! Oh. This is but Excalibur! Yep. <laughs> That's more accurate. For I am the bladesman of legend. So come, and I shall make proof of the truth of my title. Yeah. It's for one. Other stuff doesn't. Oh, 
that's right. Buffing it would be very helpful, but I don't have the things, so. It's weird that you. The shield is there, but I can't actually target the shield. It's just like nonsense damage. Can't get out of that. As Aerith. Okay. Just spam mist potions, I guess. Time to do anything, man. It's so goddamn annoying. Ugh. Yeah, he's done. I don't know when you're supposed to attack him. I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it, I guess. Gotta step it up. Can't move. You must be shaking in your boots. Let's finish this. Gotta give it my all. Not even half his health. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Everything's a hit scan, Gilgamesh. What the fuck, dude? Can't think about it. Pretty sure when that countdown is done, am I dead? I'm assuming. I've been dying to see. And he's not even half health, so. And I'm trying to attack him like nonstop. Sure, I guess. Can I change characters, please? Everything I have to knock you over. Cloud's not dead. The bar was so low. enough almost enough i was trying to give flare him in this the stagger window it's close Thanks though so much for everything. for a moment. Oh, is he? Why am I getting weakness hits on cloud? Why does he have fire? I must have moved his material wrong. Okay. Please show me how I'm supposed to do anything about that. Frickin' hit scan abilities, man. Shake it off. Oh my god. So 
much hit scan. I can't do anything. It's like six attacks in a row, man. Fuck up. Okay. I don't know if we're dead here or not. Shouldn't be. I pressured him and he still did it. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. Ah. Wasn't, wasn't buff. What? Come on, game. I got this. I had that parry. Just like that, huh? Oh, we have backline commands? Let's go. Hey, can I get a uh, free overfang? I got frogged? What the fuck? I'm just stunned? Where? Oh, she is stunned. She's apparently just stunned. Couldn't tell. Oh my, come on, dude. Bless them with your love and grace. I don't know when I got frogged. And he's... Now he's just petrified? I can't even see all my debuffs. Is he back? He's back. I think we're dead. It's a fun animation, but nope, Aerith's alive. She's not going to get to. Maybe she gets one. What the? I, I just can't do anything. I'm stunned. Dead. Yep. I was stronger than this. Kind of lame. Very cinematic fight, but I don't know. Kind of stupid. Please. 
your eyes and prepare to be stupefied by my swordsmanship. So that, I can't stack up Fiery Banishment, ATB spent on other commands, so that doesn't count? Wildfire does not count, nope, it does not, okay, fair enough. my health go he was just standing there all of a sudden I'm almost dead sure I guess game why not Haven't stunned him. He's third weapon in. I still haven't stunned him. I'm attacking him non-stop. I don't. I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> I'm attacking him non-stop, and he's still not stunned. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They could have been playing on easy. No That's possible, yeah. For I it's very true. So come, and I shall make proof of the truth of my title. 
Why was I petrified? So a frog. Getting right now, so oh, how I've longed to feel the my holy blade. to throw it four times man I still don't see cloud casting fire stunned by there's no debuff on my bar I need a different ability to spam can't summon Phoenix yet it's too early in the fight hey where did my bio go So bored of this fight. Not 
that doesn't have anything. Dispel him first. He got it off in time. We're all fine HP wise, I think. Blood spill forth. What? Oh, a Brad Hood. Tired of just not being able to ever get away from him. I was tar I was cycling wrong. Just kidding him trying to stand still. I 
uh, my name Jitsu War Off. Phoenix, you want to do the thing? There we go. Impressive. Had enough? On this particular occasion, I. You are the most formidable foe. This realm's bladesman of legend. Bladesman of legend, huh? Thanks, but I don't deserve the title. Not yet. Hmm. Not until you have defeated your rival, I presume. Then your claim to my treasures is forfeit. You must best this rival of yours if you are to prove yourself worthy. And when you have, you will face me again. It'll cost you. Indeed. Well, more of your ilk await me in worlds beyond. It is time I saw to their undoing. Forget the way back? <laughs> huh. One as well traveled as I forget? Never! Countless are the realms which I have explored. Crossing the void is but a trifle. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps here? Whoa. The lonesome wealth. Utilizing the data I have acquired. I can extrapolate points of convergence, by which I mean rifts in space-time. What the thaumaturgy is this? <laughs> Temporal rift located. Look, there it is. Aha! And now to leave it open. What the heck? <laughs> I am in your debt. Well. Just as I was indebted to you for the data you provided, now we're even. Oh. Huh. It's time I took my leave of you and your world. May we meet again upon the field of battle. Should the fates allow, I shall pray for it. Oh, valiant souls, I bid you good health. Good fortune and goodbye. Prepare yourselves, warriors of light. Quite a character, isn't he? Yep. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> Next order of business. I was able to obtain a vast amount of interdimensional data, which I have put to very good use. For example, summoning materia. Yeah. Gilgamesh will surely prove to be both an effective and amusing ally. I've also created new transmuter chips based on proto-relic data. With them, you'll be able to craft functional replicas of each piece of the legendary Genji armor. And so, this marks the end of our quest for the proto-relics. Nevertheless, our journey is far from over. The world is still teeming with secrets. I trust you're as eager to continue as I am, Cloud. <laughs> you're quite a character yourself, Chadley.
Oh, good. <laughs> Chadley has added brutal and legendary challenges to the combat simulator. Conquered the legendary trials to unlock battles in which you fight alongside Sephiroth and Zack, as well as their respective training courses. Note that both brutal and legendary fights are automatically set to hard difficulty, regardless of your current settings. That's the same as, same as the uh, uh, remake. What remake did with that? So brutal existed, but I don't know about legendary. So legendary will be something for for later. Is that max level or are they uh, probably eye level sync? So that probably still means they're easier at max level because you'll have end game gear and maxed materia. Whereas right now we are, we don't. We're like late mid game, the mid late game. Because we're not even level 50 yet, and there's still 20 levels left. But that's that. That's, uh, that was Gilgamesh. Let's just give a peek here, real quick. What a beautiful thing it is to travel the world. I only wish that I had been afforded the opportunity to do so sooner. Oh, there's actually specific material for the. Oh my god! Swift cast? Re raise? Allows you to use magic that can automatically revive allies when they fall in battle. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay. Spare change. Allows you to consume gill to damage enemies with spare change. The more gill you throw, the more damage you will deal to your targets. I wonder if spare change has a cap. And the cap would be 9999, I guess. To do 10,000 damage. And limit support. Transfer any increase in limit gauge to allies. Your own limit gauge will no longer fill. Yeah. Swift cast is crazy, though. Reduces cast time of linked materia spells by 100% at max level. This allows you to cast tier 3 Aga spells nearly instantaneously. There's still an animation where your character will, like, you know, raise their hand up or whatever. But there's no channel, and then hua. So this is used in the uh, hard mode, new game plus, AP and XP farming methods, which I'm sure we will get to in due time. Wait, that all of a sudden? Oh, I thought we didn't have enough. Materia completionist. That's all of his. Developed materia. Spare change is weird, though. I don't know how good it is. It's kind of a meme spell. I guess if you farmed Gil, spamming 9999 as a regular attack could be pretty strong, but the question is if you... If it costs 9999, does it actually do that much damage? Because of, you know, obviously enemy defenses and stuff. Re-raise would be pretty strong for some of the harder mode stuff. You have to pre-cast it. Right? It has to be a, a buff placed on kind of like resist and stuff. Swift Cats is crazy too. Um, there's a... There's some stuff where you put HP Absorb on like fire. And then you put MP Absorb on fire. And then you put Swift Cast on fire. You have to link it three times, so it takes six materia to do this, but that means that you'd cast, like, Fyraga instantly, and gain back mana, and heal yourself whenever you cast it. Stuff like that is pretty nuts, I've seen from, like, end game build discussion. We'll see about that in the future, I suppose. Although I do have to, like, completely reorganize all my materia and stuff because I totally changed my party layout for all this. Let's check the simulator. I'm assuming they're going to be level sync though. Oh no, they're just end game. So it's literally just like, it's just for new game plus. Yeah. Oh, so there's that's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> How is there a Kate Sith legendary bout? I would assume these are, if not level... Se oh, it's complete the main scenario. Oh, so literally it's level 70. Okay. So just like Remake, what Remake did. 
Uh, rulers of the Outer Worlds, apparently, is the the big one. But it drops Gotthardam wrong again, just like Remake did, where you had to fight the um, special Bahamut Arisen fight or whatever, where he summoned Ifrit. So, MP up earrings. Another magnify. Prayer earrings. Ooh, that'd be nasty for hard mode. And there's the third elemental materia. You can have three. Hmm. Yeah, so this is this is endgame hard mode stuff. So I would imagine you would boot back up probably this chapter in hard mode and then do the Gungaga loop and farm after you finish the game to get to 70, farm out all your materia, which is what I plan to do. I plan to farm all the materia in the entire kit that I'd ever use all to max level and stop worrying about it when we get to hard mode. So, and then binding materia. That's fine. Five rounds. No, these are not five rounds. These are 10 rounds. Are they all 10? Oh, gosh. Okay, well, that's different. There were only five rounds in... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's like the weird robot, like, Omega weapon kind of thing, which isn't Omega weapon. There's the... Oh, this one's only five. This is probably like all boss fights. Probably five boss fights. Yeah. Yeah, so it's for endgame stuff. Can't even do them now anyway. I mean, I could queue into this one, I guess, and then get just completely blasted. Let's see. what What's Army of the Damned? Looks like the first wave. I'm just going to leave. I don't care. Oh, it's just dudes. But how strong are they? So is it just like every... We'll do these later. I'm assuming it's going to be like every region mob. Probably every region mob in escalating waves. So the last waves will be a bunch of the rare mobs. That's fine. That sounds kind of fun. Like all the rare mobs you do in the zones that are like the, the one-off hunts. Like the bigger green owls or the big zoo and stuff like that. Okay. And then I assume some of these are going to be the actual special mobs, like the Mind Flayers and stuff. Okay. This will be kind of fun. I mean, the elemental material is huge. Another Magnify is also huge. And then Gotterdamrung is that you, um, Yalter? Yalterdame? Yalterdamrung? Something like that? You start the fight with a oh, Limit Break. And there is a build where you have, say, like Cloud starts the fight with that so he starts the fight with full limit break and you have Aerith on your team and you have who else you want Tifa whatever Aerith uses LB siphon plus the earring that allows her to start battles at tier three limit break so then she takes clouds LB limit siphons it off so she has LB it's LB three you immediately LB three on Aerith her LB3 gives max LB to her other two party members. So then they go to double LB. And then you would do the, you'd keep doing that. You would get an LB on, let's say, Tifa, siphon it back off with Aerith, give it back to both people with her level LB3, and repeat. You just spam an LB. Um, you'd have to, the other prep is you wanted to use synergy skills to get. Tifa's LB to be LB3. Once you get it rolling, then you basically just spam LB3. Um, and you siphon it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's a pretty interesting build that you can do late game, obviously, because this is the last brutal challenge. <laughs> so, and these are all individuals. There's five round individual battles. Interesting. Which I wonder if these are very similar to what Remake did when you had the individual battles. But since they're one they're they're one v ones. Well, maybe not one v ones exactly, but 
Hmm. But they're all for folios as well. Yeah. Awesome. Analyzing one's failures can prove instructive. That's what I did yesterday after getting tilted off the face of the earth by Gilgamesh. And came back. I still don't think some of my material loadout was working. I don't think Cloud was just spamming fire. But I'd have to watch the footage back to see if he was. But that's that's uh that's Gilgamesh and everything that happens when you on Oh! Cloud! Good news! I was able to compile all relevant world intel data. I can't thank you enough. Now that the work is done, I can show you the fruits of our labor. If you wouldn't mind, Cloud. Look at this now. Also, how's a hologram holding that? This is a different version, or is it going to be the exact same? Oh, it's a cutscene. Here, have a look. What the? What is this? The sum total of our intel, the world we call home. Oh. Isn't it amazing? Oh no. Hey, remember those monstrosities, Cloud? Would have been a real handful without my help. Like that one, and that one, and that one. Ah, oh, just look at them all. So many wonderful memories to treasure. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? My, please refrain from interrupting me. This is important. <laughs> all right. The real reason I asked you to gather so much data was so that I could archive it. Hmm. Or a project I call the Arc Library. Oh. As you know, the planet is in a precarious position. Shinra's Mako reactors are draining the world dry. Wutai and the SRC speak of war. The weapons in Genova stir. And now, Sephiroth. No one knows what the future holds for us. Indeed, it could be that our annihilation is imminent. So I want to preserve all I can. Everything. <laughs> From the quotidian to the extraordinary. It all deserves to be remembered. It's not going anywhere. We will save the planet. <sighs> right. I'm sure you will. I have every faith in you, Cloud. <laughs> to protect this world of ours, I will support you to the bitter end. Hmm. Or become the end boss. You have gone above and beyond. The wealth of data you've provided will surely open up new avenues of research. It may even lead us to unexplored corners of our planet, where more discoveries no doubt await. Our quest for knowledge is far from over. Okay, well, there's finally Gilgamesh and the whole secret unlocked everything. Actually, before before we end this one, let me look at the items. Ah, sinister. Quetzalcoatl Talon and Sinister Marlboro Tendril. So those are from probably the simulator challenges, something like that, I imagine. But you don't get drops in the simulator. So I guess we'll just fight them in the story. Breaks the 9999 damage limit. So these go on Tifa then. <laughs> Yeah. Genji earrings increase damage dealt by 15%, but also increases damage taken by 15%. Vile Mind Flayer and Heavy Jabberwock. 
need a lot of jetsam for these. Are we going to be able to get a lot more when we travel north, I guess? And the ring reduces damage taken by 15%, but also reduces damage dealt by 15%. Yeah. Well, obviously when you're, when you're Barrett tanking, pretty, pretty strong here. So they're obviously only... And Genji gloves on... Maybe okay on Cloud, but on Tifa just seem a no-brainer. Considering how much damage she can pump out in short stagger windows. And her scaling past the damage limit would be crazy. And then... I mean, these would be probably fine on... Yuffie is she supposed to be the more agile one to move around combat with and she has super dodge and brumal form but she still takes plenty of damage I guess and Genji ring would clearly be like red or uh, Barret the tankier members to make the even tankier or you put this on Aerith she's normally there to be supportive and then just taking less damage for her making her tanky is good too and then, yeah, Tonberry King's Wretched Robe and the Argent King Zoo Feather. So what are, we, are these just going to be just extra challenges we have to do? Or can you not craft these till New Game Plus? And are those boss hunts just those versions in hard mode? I don't know. Then we also have the Materia. Wields a collection of weapons to deal damage with repeated flamboyant attacks. Ultimate Illusion deals a massive amount of non-elemental damage. Size medium, so it requires two ATB. Invoke Gilgamesh to aid you in battle, as well as confer stat bonuses to the summoner. So it just gives... Yeah, it gives strength and magic, which translates to magic attack and attack. A little bit of extra MP. How does that compare with the Odin summon? Adds magic attack. You know what? I think she earned it. Kind of. Team effort, but... Well, I gotta put Odin on someone. Well, not Odin, but Bahamut. Bahamut better than Titan? Kujata's just... I don't know. That's that. If you've been watching live. Hope you enjoyed the struggle. It was definitely an interesting experience trying to get this down. I wonder how the rest of the base game will feel after doing that. Because this is a... Quite a difficult boss in comparison, maybe, but we'll see. If you've been watching live, don't forget, there's a whole bunch of other videos you can watch live, like All of Seven Remake and the DLC and all three Dark Souls games. You can watch me play Bloodborne and have, like, no problem with Orphan of Cost and a little bit of problem with Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower in comparison to this stuff. Very different games, but still. Other than that, I think Gilgamesh might rank up there with Melania for me. Because Melania took me about... Melania and Elden Ring took me three, three and a half hours, something like that. And Gilgamesh took me about that as well. Which is almost as long as it took me to beat uh, Vice in Hard Mode Remake. That was about three hours. But that level of boss. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Whew! Now to fix all my materia again. <laughs>